Hello, Nathaniel Gavronsky here at the Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D.C. And as I take my leave from Washington for now, I, want to, I was just thinking about Thomas Jefferson and the legacy that he leaves. There's more lessons from Jefferson than just his time in office, more than his authorship of the Declaration of Independence, and his donation of much of his great uh, set of knowledge is his books to the Library of Congress. Jefferson during his lifetime was known as a great man. His first term as president was a resounding success, uh, being the first uh, person to defeat an incumbent uh, president the, uh, who was seeking a second term. His second term might not have been as successful as his first, but he was able to leave a legacy long beyond his, his time in the White House. Jefferson uh, strived to lead a good life for his time, for his contemporaries. He was believed to be a great man for a long time. But as history changes and the world changes, you're, one thing you can learn about Jefferson is that you're not guaranteed greatness throughout the ages. So people will review the time period which you lived in and try to judge you by modern standards. I believe that is unfair on Jefferson, and I believe that purity tests on historical figures is a grave uh, misconduct as far as the way we view history, because we have to understand that the world they lived in is not the world that we live in. And it's something I remind people that are still alive today, that the world that they grew up in is not the world we live in today. So there, there is a lot of things that are changing. Sometimes change is good. Sometimes progress for progress sake is actually a very regressive trait. And we must seek out those truths that are objectively truth for everybody. Yes, both sides are going to have times where they're right and sometimes where they're wrong. But Jefferson is undeniably a very great man. He had his flaws, but as a founding father with flaws, it just makes him more down to earth, more relatable to all of us. So that just because we're not perfect and we have things about our character that might be seen as, as you know, unredeemable, it doesn't deflect our ability to have a positive influence on, on society as a whole. By many today, Jefferson is not viewed as a great man because he, like many of his time, owned slaves and reportedly had children with many of them. People look at him uh, you know, with, with tarnishment without realizing that there's a lot of benefits that he left to us now that you know, without him and, and the blemishes on his character and of the time period he lived in, the great things that we've achieved today would not be possible. There are a lot of people that are alive today, that a lot of great inventions that exist today, a lot of great cultural and artistic things that, are, that were created by people that um, were our descendants from the people of this time period. And if things would have been different, those brilliant artists and those great minds might not be here to join us. So even though history is not always pleasant, we must see that you know from, from the ashes of, of tragedy, great things can come. I don't think that Jefferson would, would uh, look at his life if he was alive today in the same light as he would have looked at his life during his own t lifetime. And I bet you if he had a chance to go back and change some things, he would. I believe everyone w would like to go back and change things sometime in their life period if they were given a chance. Jefferson is a memorial to the fact that people, no matter how flawed they might be, still have a value to society, not only to their contemporaries, but to a brilliant and bright future. The United States has a brilliant, bright future ahead of us, and even though not everyone that, are, that is participating in the process today believe, you know, has, you know, or looked as being great men or great women, they are make, changing things for the better, maybe not right now, but their legacies will have a huge impact on the future. I believe that we must look at history through the lens of the time period in which they tried to change things for the betterment of not only themselves, but for future generations. I believe that Thomas Jefferson, regardless of his flaws, strived to make the world a better place, more so than just from his time period, but for the, for the, for the generations that would follow. And I think we should show him a little, bit, a little bit more appreciation for the troubling times that he dealt with to get, lead us to where we are today. In 244 years, our country is not perfect. That more perfect union is being made more perfect each and every generation. You know, it, it, throughout history, we've, we've gone from only land owning whites to you know, people who just showed up and recently became citizens of the country being able to have equal protection and rights under the law. That's a great strive in only 244 years. For other countries, it took centuries and centuries. We did it in just a few generations. So we must give credit where credit is due. 
that the context in which Jefferson wrote his, his words have been fulfilled and are continuing to be fulfilled further for, for a wider variety of people, and that's something we should all applaud. This is Nathaniel Gavronsky from the Jefferson Memorial telling you to be healthy, wealthy, and wise, and as always, stay classy.